Our uh, last speaker is John Dershel from Korea Fees. Korea Fees is an uh, expert in organic materials purification. Okay. Yeah, thank, you for the thank you for the interaction. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jens Drexel. I'm the uh, managing director of the Korea Fees company. Um, our company is dealing with highest purity. Uh, um, yeah, sorry. Uh, with highest purity of organic electronic materials, basically organic molecule uh, compounds. Um, you see some pictures of that. So we are operating in the young field of organic electronics in general. Um, we have invented a new technology which allows us to purify the materials uh, to uh, very efficiently, actually. And uh, we would like to come become the uh, leading provider of purification technology provider, actually a service provider to our customers. So uh, actually, we were not a young company. We're about 15 years old. Um, our main business so far is, or so beam, mm -hmm. uh, is uh, tool making and components making. But since few years, we started with material purification, and we set up machines and invented the process. So these are the application fields we address right now. So the main application field is still OLED, OLED lighting, OLED display, uh, photovoltaics in many application cases. But we are already uh, focusing on fine chemistry and pharmacy, and of course R&D. Uh, I would like to give you an example in regarding the OLED uh, business, because this is the most attractive business at the moment. Um, well, the OLED te technology is, uh, it's, oh, I'll go back. The OLED technology is, is a major technology. It's, it's, it has been proven. Um, but ever, we have to go up in scaling with the next step. So you know Samsung, LG, and all these suppliers can give you already a smartphone displays with the OLED technology. Uh, new suppliers uh, come up with lighting technologies and, and so on. And uh, so there are three demands or three challenges we have to focus on. Uh, we have to keep the quality as high as possible to, to ensure the high quality products in the device. Uh, we have to keep up with scaling. So um, if you go up with higher, larger displays, larger areas, we need to come from grams to tons per year. And finally, at the end, we have to keep the yield high so we have to keep the costs down, actually. And these are the these challenges we have to fo focus on. Um, a short word about the market. As I told, it's already proven technology, so the crows are quite rapidly in the range of 35% per year. Uh, estimations are in the range of 40 billion, some are, uh, are in the range of 60 billion uh, dollar per year in 2018. And the fraction of material, material purification is in the range of 1 to 2%. So, however, we have a loss, a typical loss of yield due to yield during the process of about 30%, and that's what we would like to address. So how looks the technology, the state-of-the-art technology looks like this. You have a tube, you have a gas flow, you have some, some material mixture in here, so different fractions, and you split up in a process, in a thermal process, the uh, materials. However, this approach is difficult to scale up, especially in terms of yield and efficiency, and that's our opportunity. So we invented a new technology, which we call QuantiPure. It's a, a machine, but also a process to, uh, uh, to use the material and to uh, purify the material. So these machines exist already in, in different sizes for different applications. And we run these machines in clean room and compartments. Uh, let me compare these two, uh, or the, the, the state-of-the-art technology and our new technology. So if, if you take a look at the throughput, we are almost the same. If you take a look at the quality, it can be the same. But if you look at the efficiency, we are, uh, have a huge advantage in terms of the efficiency. What means efficiency? Efficiency means that we need maybe one, maybe two runs to, to clean up the materials to the end status, to achieve 99% or beyond. And our yields per process are much higher than the current technologies, which is in the range of 70-90% only. So if you make a very brief calculation and to show you the value creation of our technology is that if you assume, let's say, five kilograms per day, uh, which gives you about 1.5 tons per year, 
uh, we assume an advantage of 8% in terms of yield, just the yield actually, and a, a raw material value of a, a 10 euro. And you end up with about 1 million euro per one material per year, actually. So we, we already have current, uh, currently we have uh, customers uh, and sales agents worldwide. Uh, still we have to focus in Europe, but we have to address uh, uh, Asia, actually. Um, and this is our timeline. So we have invented the technology in the last few years. We are already about to start with one customer the qualification process, and we would like to start beginning of end of this year, beginning of next year with the first uh, mass production. And we will start the channel production, uh, would like to start it next year, mid of next year. And we are looking for a gross investment of about two, two million euro. So these are the people behind them. So I'm the CEO. There is another, uh, Mr. Frepp is a manager director as well, and yeah, my two colleagues. Thank you for your attention.